can't believe the time goes so quickly. I believe we're at the final speaker in, in this group. Um, Bresnevia Mascarena will speak on the, on the topic of entre entrepreneurship among rural youth in Mozambique. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm also delighted to be here today. My name is Brishnevia Mascarenhas. I'm from Mozambique. And today I'm here to talk about uh, youth empowerment. Uh, part of my work, I work it with a coal mine project in that region in Mozambique. And my work involves in going to the rural community where my project is based at and do community engagement and uh, consultation for the interest of the project that I represent. Uh, but when I got there with the plan and script for my project, I used to see a community with a lot of problem. I believe most of them have been described by my uh, colleagues and panelists, but I see basically problem in accessing service such as education, health, and potable water. But at the same time that I see this struggle with them, I see hope and I see smile on the face of kids and people that greet me before I start uh, my work. And this makes me realize and think uh, with myself, what can I do to assist them? What can I do to facilitate basically youth uh, uh, empowerment among rural and marginalized communities in, in my country? So I choose to approach youth, and I choose to approach youth uh, empowerment. 1.8 billion people globally are considering young. In Mozambique, 65% of the population are under age of 25. You may think, what's the meaning of youth empowerment? I have to say that there are a lot of definition of youth empowerment, but all seems to agree that it's the capacity and the process to provide to young population uh, the role and, and, and put them on the center so that they can decide about their own life. So, and I believe in this concept too. For me, youth empowerment, it's about freedom. It's a freedom to dream, a freedom to decide what they want to do in, in, in the life. And you may have your own uh, definition of, of freedom. So how can I capitalize this potential that I see on, on the youth? So I thought in creating a community sustainability center when I go back home. So this center will be focused in providing those youth at the rural community access to education. I, um, when I say access to education, I mean access to our basic uh, um, public institution that will provide them the, with the knowledge that they need so that they can be successful. So here, I'm planning to partnership with the existing local institution so that they can have some place available for rural uh, population in my country. Because sometimes they register people as they came first. So I want to create some kind of balance so that you don't resist someone who came first, but you ensure that we have number available for the rural population as well as the urban population as well. Uh, the second area of this center will be providing youth uh, with the training so that they can be a carpenter, they can be a builder, they can be a miner uh, in the future. The third component is about mentorship. I use, I'm planning to use my network and friends so that they can be a role model to inspire people at rural uh, community. So that they can see people like me and get inspiring with my history and my journey and believe that they can achieve more. With that saying, uh, youth empowerment for me, it's about opportunity. Opportunity that all of us will create in our individual settlement so that we can be able to assist other people around us. 
Youth empowerment, it's about choice. It's about rural community and young generation choosing what they want to become. So they can either be an agriculture. They can just decide to go to school and empower their the knowledge. They can be uh, running a bicycle uh, workshop in the, in the settlement, which is, by the way, the main transportation uh, vehicle in rural community in Mozambique, or they can just be good in revamping the house. So that's how I see as a, a vehicle of choice. Of course, I cannot be doing this alone. So youth empowerment, it's also about us. It's about all of us giving back to our communities. So <laughs> thank you. So the 25 faces you see here now, including my own, <laughs> are the Yali uh, fellows. So I'm planning to use them and use these networks so that we can partner to inspire uh, people back at home. Of course, I cannot do it at my own. We cannot do it together. So today, I invite all of you here to consider youth empowerment. Thank you very much. <laughs>